Sounds... Makes sense. Yeah, so Falcon doesn't really have an answer to uh, all of uh, Pac-Man's weird gimmicks. Falcon's slipperiness and speed being an issue against all the items on stage. Right. Uh, but with his Dark Pit reflectors. is no slouch. Yeah, Yeah, his Dark Pit is no slouch. It's, uh, it's really strong. Uh, oh. His Dark Pit is actually what won him uh, a major tournament in Doha called Heat. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if it can take some more while he's here. <laughs> All right. So we're on battlefield. Mpax versus Yellow Swagmaster. Uh, Mpax is starting off immediately throwing out a hydrant. Yellow Swagmaster trying to feel Mpaxon out, looking for an opening every now and then, playing a relatively patient. Oh, nice down throw into up air, neutral air. Dark Pit doing work, but mm -hmm. it's still a close game. Oh. Mm -mm. And that footstool into the hydrant, sick stuff. Yolo Swagmaster sitting at 74%. Creative use of the hydrant. I really do like his awareness of how the hydrant will fly. Oh my oh, god! An amazing footstool what? there, but. Swagmaster lives. Oh, that was amazing. But Yolo Swagmaster was able to survive that. Uh, if he had continued that combo for one more string, it would have been over. It would have been over. It was a miracle of DI that he oh, survived it. The bell? Oh, oh man. He's got the key, Fire Hydrant. Dash attack. Yo, Swagmaster still in this 164% with rage. Oh, up smash. The rage could be a threat here. Ooh. An amazing read Nice there. F smash from M. Paxson. Closing out that stock. Yo, Swagmaster is looking to close, seal the stock relatively without taking damage. But, you know, his shield looking really small. He's going to have to be really careful. One thing I've noticed with Mpax, and he's really good at perfectly timing his charges for the fruit. Right. Because, like, for example, he charged that key up. I didn't even see the key pop out. Yeah. It was just ready. Mpax is showing some crazy oh, strength here. Back throw. Oh, oh man, he's gonna it. go for a. Oh, uh, I expected the back air stage should've. spike. I think he was a little worried. Didn't throw. Really take risks. He's gonna seal that stock. Yolo Swagmaster sitting at 25%. He's still in this fight and he can still make, you know, beat and Paxton. Just gotta get the timing on those hydrants better. I think oh. that seems to be a big part of it. Down throw, up air. <laughs> Great Ooh. use of the reflection side, side B there, but didn't quite hit where it needed to. Oh, Perfect sick! Good grab. It's anybody's game. I think we've seen a switch in Nagnu's uh, style. He's being a lot yeah. more defensive. See, Yolo Swagmaster is so great at adapting to other players, right? Not only the character, but players as well. Oh, and a ledge trump to back air. Will Pac-Man survive? Oh. Uh, oh, no, it's oh, dangerous. Oh, danger, danger. Oh! Great Paxson's DI still in by this. 
an amazing comeback by Yagnoub right now. Yeah. Oh, and the key disastrous hit. Oh, and a back throw into the hydrant. Clever little combo there. Those gimmicks oh. are real. And see, Yolo's Swagmaster is probably fizzing for a side B to finish that stock. Just looking for the perfect opening. A B is looking really close. Oh, 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 oh man. Jabs. All the hitboxes there and none of them hit. I think even at this point, an apple would do. Oh, oh up smash damage. from Yolo Swagmaster nice seals it. Yolo Swagmaster. Come back from a pretty bad first stock, but he took the second one. Man. Game one goes to Yolo Swagmaster. This AKA match is. Nag Nuke. Oh my god. Uh, yes. We're making quick movement through these brackets. Yeah, man. I mean, Safe and Snack definitely putting in a lot of work. I think we're going to see Nick. There's only one more round left in this uh, mm -hmm. bracket, and that's XFO versus FaZe Rebel. And that's going to be a pretty good match, I think. Yeah. Then I think they're going to move on to... Losers. Uh, they've already gone through losers round six, pretty much. So maybe they'll save losers round seven. Mm -hmm. All right, and now we're going on duck hunt. Uh, a lot of Pac-Man actually really like the stage, and I imagine it's because uh, Pac-Man has the ability to wall jump, right? And this is one of the few stages that have a perfectly flat wall, and uh, it allows them to go for a lot more uh, setups for edge guarding. Yeah. Ooh. I see a lot more shield pressure right now. See, Paxton recognizes the fact that, you know, Yolo Swagmaster is using his shield a little bit too much, and he's using all of his projectiles to... You know, whittle his down, yeah. yeah, whittle his shield down as much as he possibly can until you know he conditions the old swag master to stop shielding and then start going for uh, a lot more attacks and uh, putting up a lot of damage. You know, I was about to say that Paxson also switched to a more defensive playstyle, but then the last few actions made me double think that. Yeah, Paxson plays in this weird style in which he actually switches between both offensive and defensive, right? Rapid Depending range. on his stage yeah. positioning. There goes the item. Oh, will he take it? Not quite. I want to see more of that stage key setup. Yeah. But I'm sure that's not exactly the most ideal setup to execute. And this game is looking really close. Yolo Swag, I mean, not even really close. Uh, it's completely Paxton's in Paxton's favor in terms of percent. done a lot of damage, but as we saw before, you can't count Nag Nug out just yet. Oh, oh and that was dangerous. Miss. That was a great angle by Yolo Swagmaster. And Pac-Man has got his oh, bell, but that went to waste. Unfortunate platform placement for him. Crazy near misses for Nag Nug. Yeah. Great oh, use of the side beam. Absolutely sick stuff. You Yolo Swagmaster still in there, man. Paxton yeah. having a lot of trouble trying to close up stocks. Yeah. Down throw. It's almost as if Nek Noob's focused on just trading. Yeah. Knowing that he can avoid the death. Oh, but spoke too soon. Great key grab there, yeah. oh, but an unfortunate waste of a great opportunity. No perfect paper grab then. 
an excellent movement by both players. Mm -hmm. They're just nobody's suffering uh, from the lag issues that you would expect. Yeah. Everybody's taking care to cancel their moves as often as possible. Oh, and the sick dash that comes through kills and packs and Yolo Swagmaster at 47%. Still looking pretty good to win this match. Very, very tight. I think a side B might have been yeah. better there. But the match is still young. Great read on the fall. Oh, will he take the apple? Yes, he will. That thing has strong kill power. It just tosses up in the air. <laughs> the dog lifted the fire hydrant and brought yeah. it right back down. Not Ooh. normally what dogs do, but it's fine. Oh, reads the air dodge, gets an up smash. Yolo Swagman. has turned this game around Yeah, again. he's got the percent lead right now. The projectile war is yet to be won. Oh, ran right into that. Those hitboxes are active for a long time. Yeah. At this point, we can see both players are trying to space themselves out. Yeah. Trying to be safe. Up smash. But Nagnug seems to be more capable of landing the key hits. F throw. This is extremely dangerous for both players. Oh, oh the hydrant, both players neck, perfectly uh, even percents. This is dead even right now. Either player, oh, oh up air. Not enough to kill. Attempt with the key, but... Oh, and that's going to be game. YOLO Swagmaster takes it 2-0. Extremely close. Good stuff to YOLO Swagmaster. Closing up that stock. Oh, man. That was hype. Hype, hype, Sick. Hype. Oh, my God.